Let it make a happy glow for all the world to see. How do you turn on your heart light? You know, Neil Diamond wrote that for E.T. My grandma has a crush on Neil Diamond. For a split second, I thought you were going to say, my grandma has a crush on you. And I was going to say... She has much better taste than that. <laughs> To our stupid reaction to idiot Tom Corbin. I'm not Neil Diamond. You'd be a lot richer if you actually. No, yeah. Well, wait a minute. On the according to the internet's the Google search, internet, which by the way, everything you find on a Google search about people, 100% accurate. 100% accurate. We're millionaires. Yep, we are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, please follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Oh! Oh! Yay! It's so uh, juicy. Weird mood. What is that? We're in a weird mood today. You know what it is? It's the after effect of being in the presence of Ustadi Zakir Hussain. That's what that is, my friend. I think it's the gas. It's the gas. <laughs> Trailer dropped this morning for uh, Debang 3. We actually, long time ago, reacted to the first. How are we pronounce it? Debang, Debang? Didn't we go Debang, Debang? Yeah. Uh, well, the way she. Mm -hmm. That was early, like seven, eight months ago. But. I believe that got blocked. It's on Patreon. What a shock. Don't know why. Hopefully it just doesn't get blocked, but the lovely Hey Nas. Hey Nas. Hey Nas. This came out, didn't have subs for some reason. This new one? <laughs> this new one with Salman Khan. Like it's a big film. But Hey Nas, without my asking, he's like, hey, this dropped. I subbed it for you because it didn't have subs. Thank you so much, Hey Nas. You're fantastic. But so here we go. Obviously, we haven't seen any of the other uh, debongs. No, but the messages that I was getting, I'm sure you were getting the same thing, were, what are you doing? Go react to this right now. Well, one, we want to make sure we have subs. So. Right. <gasps> Here we go! Yeah, that's directed by 
Prophet. 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 So that's Prabhu? Yeah, that's Prabhu. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that makes actually sense because a lot of the dance numbers looked unique in terms of, and then that little thing at the end, oh, yeah. the throw in the, the, the it was almost like that guy that did the cigarette thing, like an yeah. homage, basically. Yes. Like, yes. What's the coolest way I could put these sunglasses on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And obviously, we've never seen any da bongs, da bangs, da booms, da bama, da bom bom bang bos, uh, ever. My guess is that it's a lot of action and then just uh, almost not taking itself seriously yeah. in the slightest. I think it's like, what it feels like is it feels like it's war with a sense of humor of its own ridiculousness. Yes. War didn't know its own ridiculousness. No. Which is a pity. Yeah. I would have enjoyed it more. Yeah. If you, if yeah. You, like kind of the way Expendables knows. It, it, exactly. The, yeah. Expendables the franchise knows. franchise knows that it's way over the top. Yeah. This clearly knows it's way over the top. It looks like Salman Khan's having a lot of, a lot fun, of fun, which is good. It's a popcorn flick. It's yeah. let's go have a really good time and laugh and watch great stuff. And not popcorn flick like War, where you're just going to see action. Like you, you're probably going to go see a bunch of action, but also you're probably going to have a bunch of laughs because yeah. if, it, if it's what it looks like, which I don't know, uh, if it's not taking itself seriously, that's that's really that's great. great. Because if you don't have a strong story or anything like that, yes, that's that that helps. Exactly, I, and you don't try to make it something it's not. Yeah. I love what <laughs> the promotion. <laughs> Please, no, sir. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like yeah, a bunch of fun. a great like a bunch of uh, really good um, shots where like he's just just taking people out. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I know he's a bodybuilder. Well, was at least I know he's not. Obviously, he's not anymore. He's Wait, actor. he was a professional bodybuilder, yeah. like a competitive yeah. bodybuilder. Yeah, he was. Really? Yeah, that's how he, that's how he got started. That's that's what a lot of people like. Really, really, when he was younger, he was a body body builder. I had no idea he was yeah. a competitive bodybuilder. Yeah. So uh, uh, it, outside of that, he, I mean, he looks really good uh, and, and all that kind of stuff. Well, uh, but yeah, if he was a competitive bodybuilder, it makes sense. The the how tall is he? Total weird side note. I don't know. I'll check. Uh, but uh, how many? What's how many things has Prabhu directed? Good question. Okay, he directed that one with, um, what's his face? Um, my, my, my best friend. Um, I don't know why I can't remember his name right now. You're really forgetting his name? No, I just, I'm having a brain fart. Thank you so much. Uh, Guys, don't let Shahid know. Uh, he already You know what happened? I know what happened, man. You've been so obsessed with Rithik's underwear and Nawazuddin's face on your ass that you've completely lost sight of your best friend. How do you spell this film? Da bang, dab ang. D a b double a n g. Am I right? Dab. Is it D a b double a n g? D a b double a n g. Da bang three. Or is it D a b a n g g? The third installment that's of Da Bang films. D a b a n g g. Thank you for that uh, lovely synopsis. Yeah, that's the synopsis on IMDb. The third installment. <laughs> Great synops, guys. Uh, appreciate that a lot. <laughs> uh, who was the villain? He looked interesting. Your mom. Was that him? No, that wasn't him, right? No, and who's this, this young guy. lady that's being introduced? So deep. Yeah, we saw him in Ega. Yeah, and he looked familiar. So deep. I he, didn't recognize him. No? Uh, no. He looked familiar. Obviously, we haven't seen his films. But uh, he looked familiar to me. And uh, so he's from the uh, the uh, Ega film. Yeah, I remember the trailer for that. And here's the big question that we've said for a long time, and we probably need to do this within the next couple weeks. Yes. We haven't watched the Salman Khan. Well, the first one. Film. Well, I know there's a lot we haven't watched. But the first one. I know. The first one. I promise you will be this one. You can say the title for me because I always forget it. Which one? Uh, it's. Oh wait, now this one right here. Uh, Barangi Bajan. That's the one with the little Pakistani girl? Bajrangi Bajan. Yeah. So that's the first one people tell us to watch. Okay. Uh, that's probably one of his best, they say, in terms of his acting and film. It yeah. also has Nawaz in it, so that's, uh, uh, you know, for us. That's... Yeah. And I would like to see, I would prefer us to see something that's more of the dramatic 
acting kind of thing than the pure action one for him as a first film. Yeah. I mean, uh, um, it, what is his niche, as it were? This action comedy? This style. This yeah. style? Yeah, this yeah, style. I, I figured it was. The, the hero. The hero action star, yeah. even more than, say, Akshay. Yeah. Because Akshay's always done these, like, very national pride hero things, but he gets quirky. Well, yeah, he was actually, Akshay was actually quirky, then he became. Is that his origins with yeah. the quirkiness? Well, he was 90s. Akshay yeah. was the 90s, the quirky 90s. Yeah. And he was known as the comedy guy. Yeah. He's more recently done and, the more yeah. patriotic stuff. And no, all of you guys who are big Salman Khan fans, we haven't like been intentionally avoiding. It's just we only have so much time and, and have just, tried to get to as many things as we, as we can uh, in the right timing. So, so yeah, that's it. Let us know what you thought of this trailer. Uh, let us know about this this whole series as a whole. Is it, is it a series that's worth a watch? Uh, Do you need to see the first two before you see the third one? Well, they, I, they don't know yet, I guess. But, uh, well, maybe you do, because the second one, maybe it goes in chronological order. Unless it's like George Lucas, who starts with episode four. <laughs> Did Mission Impossible, do they do the, uh, like, do you need, like, do they, is it chronological? It helps. Mm. You don't have to, but it helps. What helps is the investment you have in the characters. Mm. So that by the time you get to Ghost Protocol, you, you care about the people. Gotcha. Yeah, that's the, really the only thing, is you, you know some of the backstory, you begin to care about the characters so that when they're in danger, you, especially some of the, you know nothing's gonna happen to Tom Cruise, Ethan's gonna be <laughs> fine, but all of the, the surrounding characters, you get attached and you're like, I really hope nothing happens to these guys. Mm. So, well, yeah, there you go. Let us know what you thought of this. I'll come back with your another reaction. <laughs>